For March, we have a great lineup of products. We've been testing them out this month and now we're gonna give a nice review of them. I actually haven't had dinner yet, so I think we're gonna cook some of our featured items, uh, make a dinner, as well as review uh, in the middle. And for these videos, you don't necessarily have to buy. It's kind of like church. You know, when that basket comes around, you could drop in a dollar, five dollars, or you could pretend to drop in a few bills. So regardless of whether you purchase or not, let me drop some knowledge about Korean ingredients and products, and it'll just uh, increase your overall knowledge. Dried gondere. So if we've done gondere pop before, it's kind of like this minimalistic uh, peeping pop. Ooh, when it's dried, it looks terrible. It kind of looks like a uh, witch's hair. I think in Spanish, witch was uh, la bruja. I still remember a few words from Spanish 101 and albondigas. I always like saying albondigas. All right, I'm getting off track. So gondre is a type of namur. Namur is just means like a wild veggie. Uh, it grows in the mountains. And the most famous place for this is a place called Jungseon. And maybe Katie and I will go there, but their famous local cuisine is that gondre bibimbap. So if you buy this, there's only one key step you need to do. Soak this overnight. It's very hard and it needs to hydrate. These leaves, they kind of smell like tea. You know, have you had oolong tea before? And that's why a lot of people really like this vegetable because it's very mellow and it goes really well with rice. Just give this a quick rinse. Just let this sit until the gondre is ready. So if you're eating rice more consistently, then I would recommend uh, trying out a multi-grain rice. We really like this brand Chungho. They're like one of the first organic farms in Korea. Oh, before I continue, let's, let me put in the, the gondre. And there you go. Put it on a medium so that it gently boils. And we'll let this boil soften up for 30 minutes. And like I was saying, this grower grows everything organic and 10 grains, black rice, brown rice, millet here, and I think this one is called sorghum. Don't cook this just by itself. It gets too chewy and tough. Instead, you wanna mix it in with white rice. The exact ratio I have on Gochujar's uh, product page, mix it in a little bit. It's been 30 minutes. I drained them and washed them under cold water. I squeeze this water out of them. And I know there are a lot of people who are also interested in doing like temple stay when they visit Korea. And this gondre bibimbap is probably gonna be one of the main dishes that you try. You can just detangle them, chop them into small pieces. And in Korean cuisine, when we cook namul, we typically use perilla oil. So if you don't have perilla oil, of course you can use sesame oil. This is one tablespoon of perilla oil, good. And then one tablespoon of soy sauce. Get all that flavoring together. Using this cup, it was around two full cups, so I'm gonna use one to one ratio of water. One cup in, one more cup in. A delicious gondre. And I want this namul to be submerged. You see how it's still popping out a little bit? So I think a few more dashes of water. One, two. Good, good. Now everything is pretty much under. All right, put this into our rice cooker. Let's start. Oh, yeah, was there? Oh, oh, oh. Good. She's on her way home. That means roughly around 10 to 15 minutes before she arrives. So this is a great time to introduce our chef Baek Jong Won sauces. I'm not a really big fan of ready-made sauces. Like, um, you know, I never bought ready-made barbecue. I always like making it at home. But when time is in a crunch, if you want to see the strategic sauce in action, check out our breakfast chit chat, the episode two. But this one we haven't shown. Uh, manen, just all purpose. Yang yum is seasoning sauce. This is mekum hamat. Basically means spicy. All right, today we'll just crack this open. Ah, I got grandma hands today. Oh, take a quick taste. That sauce would go good with chicken, beef, pork, anything. I'll just use some uh, pork that I was gonna use for a recipe. I have a few leftover shiitake mushrooms. Then maybe one whole onion. Actually, maybe just half an onion. One onion is too much. We don't want to cry. Then we get our all-purpose Korean sauce. I'm not sure how much to put in. I think that would be good enough. And you know, the reason I like Chef Baek Jong Won is because 입맛이 비슷해. That basically means our taste buds, our sense of taste, our sense of what tastes good and what tastes bad is similar. All right, and then I'll just let this sit, soak that in for about 10, 15 minutes. What's going on today? <laughs> oh, not ready yet. Can you guess what the menu is? And do you smell that? Um... Gozari. No, no, it's not gozari. Gondure. Yeah, it's gondure. But I'm so hungry. How long is it gonna take for the rice to cook? Oh no, it's still the racetrack. Oh <laughs> it's gonna goodness. be so time. You wanna see me hangry? Nobody wants to see Katie hangry. Maybe I show you how we make the yogurt with the honey. The honey you got over the weekend. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, we should have got the Greek yogurt. I know. 
I'll show you how I manufacture my favorite uh, yogurt. Yes, please show us how you manufacture that. <laughs> Little bit of granola. This honey that we got is so good. This honey is extracted from a snowbell in Jirisan Mountain. Is that a Disney character or is that a real, <laughs> real, real plant? It's a real. Jirisan Mountain is one of the most like holy grail mountain in Korea. Yeah, there's a lot of um, organic producers that produce a lot of Korea's best products um, and they yeah. grow right at Jirisan so Mountain. Very natural, untouched. It's very thick and runny, right? Ooh, this is too precious. I don't want to waste it. Mmm, so. Katie, oh my gosh. Is that Mizuka Roo? It tastes really good now, like this. <laughs> Daniel, take a bite. <laughs> oh my gosh. Katie. I told you it's good. That's wonderful. Katie, can you bring that small plate? I just want to show them. All right, guys, and you see this one is also a honey, and this one is really cool. Do you know why? The bees are pulling from palm, the chestnut, chestnut tree. So cute on the design, huh? Look at this attention to detail. This makes a regular bottle just with this small, like, that's good. I just want a little bit. It's not as sweet as this other one. Mm. But it has that you can taste that chestnut flavor. So it's kind of strange, but really nice. I think this would work perfectly on like baked goods, like a toast with some butter. This is it. So now here we are. The pekjongwon sauce? Yeah, I didn't do it. I didn't add anything except just this marinade. Okay, show us the rice. Probably gonna be to the da -da -da. top. Whoa. Ooh. A whole forest. Oh my gosh, what did you do? Welcome to the forest. <laughs> I actually it mixed. smells amazing. I actually mixed in some of the multi grains. It's a little bit hard to see, but you see the black rice there, the glutinous rice. Mm -hmm. This is what you call minimalistic bibimbap. That's all you need, guys. When I eat there. <laughs> This is how we eat off camera, you know, when we don't have to worry about plating. So with gondre bibimbap or gondre rice, we put a little spoonfuls of the seasoned soy sauce. Now I have this recipe in our future dish. I'll put it in the description box. A few. Put it over our rice. Maybe one more. I think that should be good. All right. And mix this baby up like... Oh, -ho! Oh, -ho! oh yeah. I actually made some of this acorn jelly. It's called mook. But this one is a, is a different color. It's yeah, this, usually brown. Yeah, this one has, um, it's ke. This one also has ses black sesame seeds and it's a special one. This one doesn't have any taste. We just like it because it's jiggly, jiggly. Oh, that one you have to be careful. You're going to drop it in there 100%. Oh, it's good. Mm. Shall we have dinner and then, and then continue? What about the pork? This looks like something you'll find at a restaurant. Beautiful. Kuruchiyo. Mm. It's really good. Is it like good balance of sweet? It's on spot. It's on spot? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's on point. <laughs> we Koreans drink tea like water. Boricha. This is the number one drunken tea in Korea. Growing up, my mom would like boil a lot of barley tea and put it in like this big container and we would have that in the fridge all the time. So we would drink that and instead of water. This is 100% organically grown barley. So we're gonna put in this little uh, restaurant type base and we'll... Uh... So this is the color of the barley tea, guys. Yeah. Daniel! Yes. With tea, we need some snacks some to go with Some it. snacks? We just had dinner. Yeah, but it's a different stomach. Guacha, it's tofu snacks. Now, I actually haven't tried this one. We have a large shipment of them waiting right now. And it looks like they put a little bit of black Sesame seeds as well. Ooh. I think I really like it more than any of the other ones. I tried the other ones. This it's one I really so like. This I think little kids would love. Well, including myself. Yeah, you get a crunchy texture in the beginning and then it kind of crumbles like a cookie. Not overly sweet, savory. I would go with this any day. This will go great with beer. Mm. Oh, it's very hot. Oh, we didn't share how good this tea is. Let me see. Is it any different? It's and sweet. Ooh, it's, so a it's a deeper flavor. Mm. 
달달한 맛이 있어. 오, 맛있네. 좀 고급스럽네. Seriously, there's different levels of flavor and even in the most basic things. Like last recipe, I switched over my sesame seeds to this brand. This one is also Chungo, which we use a lot. But their sesame seeds, again, it's really like flavorful when you bite into it, like a little pop. The body is like full. So when you bite into it, it kind of bursts of that sesame roasty flavor, right? It's plump. Yeah, it's plump. The next, we have some lotus root chips. So can you try to do a food ASMR? Starting now. Mmm. <laughs> Ah. Uh, What's up with your face? Ooh. Your face looks too dangerous. Okay. Thinly slice lotus roots, immediately fry it, package it up, and no salt or no other shaked uh, flavoring on top. This is natural flavor, but it's good. This one, Katie makes fun of me for liking. She says this is a grandma snack. I'm sure many of you guys have had it. Sometimes they're really sweet. This one's not that good. We don't upload Fails this one. Guideline. Yeah, this one's a fail. And the last one, Katie's favorite. I have a Chinese friend who really loves yakba. Yeah. Why we like this one? It's like bite-sized. So small. Normally they're like the size of your palm and no one ever finishes them. It's basically like a little sweet. Oh, and tiny and cute. If you've had this before, you know what it tastes like. I think a lot of Korean parents still like this. But uh, again, it's small. Nice little dessert. Brings me back to the old days. It reminds me of Kuman eating yakwa. We have one thing left. Oh, this puricha is good. All right, and I saved the best for last. We have two types of chung. The first one is techu chung. Techu is jujubes. In fact, I have some jujubes in my pantry. And these little buggers, they have seven times more vitamin C than oranges. So in the old times, uh, they used to say, what, Katie? If you pass by jujube without eating it, you will age. That's right. So if you see these on the side of your street, you just gobble them up. So in Korea, for the working person who's always tired, you know, not in the best condition, always working late hours, they have these little like gogurt type things where you can just open and just drink the extract. Suck it up. To make this, it takes 28 hours. It's like 20 hours of uh, boiling and then dripping and then extracting all of the minerals into this very concentrated paste. So you don't really eat this for flavor though. Uh, jujubes just taste good, so this extract actually kind of uniquely tastes, uh, I think, pretty good. But let me show you the thickness of it. Daniel, actually, correction, the Google says, oh. 20 times the amount of vitamin C as citrus fruits, 18 of the 24 amino acids required by human body. So basically, jujubes, again, if you see them, just gobble them up. <laughs> Conclusion, simple. So you see thick. that black goodness coming out? Oh my gosh. I'm having these every morning before I go out running. Person Bubble! We studied a lot of brands and this one is really maybe the best that you can get in Korea. It's 100% jujube, nothing else. Same thing, but different ingredients. This one has Korean pear, so a little bit of that sweetness. 65% Korean pear and then toraji. Toraji is bellflower. Funky looking root here. Very, very healthy, like packed with vitamins. And that's about 25% mixed with 10% uh, honey and what makes this one premium they've grown this a uh, bellflower root for three years so ultra premium stuff all right it's the same company that makes both of these as you can see a lot of the ingredients that we're picking for gochu jar they're not like the products that are made by the large like conglomerate food brands we're making a big emphasis to pick out like organic uh, producers and korea grown this kind of looks like jajangmyeon sauce if i just take a sample for you this one starts with the bitter taste and has a little bit of sweetness from the pear the jujube is a lot more tastier than this one you drink this for the health not for the taste yeah they also offer it in this big uh mini jar here if you open it up you can just scoop it out put it into tea or just put one spoonful in your mouth every morning all right so i'm gonna just take one shot we did a lot of work today Woo! Ooh, regulate my cholesterol. Oh yeah. Boost my immune system. Oh yeah, you naughty. <laughs> Last but not least, it's our Dewey Trees Pick and Quick Face Mask. They have 30 mask packs inside and you put it on every day, every morning or every night. 
whatever you like but it's very convenient easy and you just pick one out let me actually show you so this is very convenient this whole idea has like become so popular amongst korean women so this is like a moist very moisturizing it's light very thin mask it's not as like like thick as serum so there's 30 sheets in here yeah there's 30 sheets in here so in theory you, sh you should finish this by the end of the month i like to do this in the morning actually just wake up wash your face and put this on for like five to ten minutes that's it for skincare basically and then you just put your makeup on or not depending on your mood and you can just walk out the house goop style you can either do this in the morning or at night time depending on your schedule you can mix and match with our face mask delivery service and this because you can never have enough of face masks so yeah all right guys this was the end uh march review for gochujar done I hope you enjoyed it. peace out y'all we're tired we get this time to do some face boom 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 do i look like an alien <laughs> what <laughs>